What's up, Chroma Clubbers and Doodle Clubbers? Today is another edition of Ask CCH. Embrace the power of the doodle. Okay, I wanted to cover some more interesting Boss Week projects, so let's get started and then we'll do the Ask CCH. So this is by Illuminati underscore walrus. Okay, and so this one is Ashton, aka The Witch. When Ashton was a child, she found out she had the power to manipulate fire. Unable to control it, she accidentally starts a fire that kills her father. As she gets older, the fear of her own power or hurting anyone else causes her to go insane. An alternate personality develops and calls itself the witch. She uses her powers whenever and however she wants. The witch is done living in fear of the fire and wants others to feel her pain. So, it's obvious that someone with fire powers are weak when they are covered in water, but she can only be defeated by erasing the fire from her hair. Okay, well that's interesting. I think I don't <clears throat> I don't know about kind of why she became a witch, but um, I do like the idea of erasing stuff from the hair or even throwing water gel at her to to kind of neutralize her. So I'm going to go ahead and improve this. And uh, let's, uh, okay, <laughs> let's go to the next one. The next one is Fanic Dusty is real. Um, Taiga, it's also hard to draw this on this. So she's very sweet and lovable. She's trans transgender though. Oh no, I won't win. She can be defeated by one of those quote, uh, big mistake erasers. Um, I just don't get how... <laughs> Like, what's her personality about? And, um, you know, basically, like, what is her distinct personality that is special to her? You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't just be that she's transgender. So I'm going to reject this and say, um, please add more details on her special powers and how and what, um, what is a unique way to defeat her? And the reason I say this is that everyone can't have the eraser be the thing that defeats them. I think some of the people have suggested having different types of gel or something else like that, and I'm open to that. But I mean, just having an eraser, it may not be the best idea. Okay, so this one is by Jasmine, the 11 year old that possessed, that's possessed by Hero Brian, that is a warrior cat in Night Clan. Okay, let's see what happens. So this is um, Techno. The boss has dreamed of building a world of only technology, so he become so he comes to the virtual world and tries to turn everything electric. But everyone hates that idea, so you, the player, will try to stop him from turning the virtual world into electric world. Um, Techno can only be defeated with the eraser, and he has 1,000 health. Um, once again, I feel like um, use another gel. Okay, it's interesting. But use another and use another tool besides eraser to defeat them. Also, what kind of marker or gel do they drop when you defeat them? So I think that needs to be filled out and detailed. So I'm going to reject that. And um, okay, so um, let's let's view one more. I think. Uh, <laughs> Who else has asked me personally to actually check this out? Um, okay, we'll try... Uh, let's see. How about Pigwin? I think Pigwin asked me, actually. So, Pigwin, and his real name is Jacob, but people call him the Big J. Jacob, or the Big J, grew up on a farm with his parents and 12 brothers and sisters. As you can imagine, he didn't get much attention. His dream was to be a boss and have everyone listen and pay attention to him. So he worked his way through the ranks, and here he is. The Big J can be defeated only by a sword made, made of grape that is um, that has to be grape jelly and not jam jelly. Okay, I mean, that's interesting. So I guess we can try to have grape gel, grape gel that you can find on trees, and then you can use that to potentially defeat them. So I think that's a little interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and approve this. Um, so there's some more interesting bosses. Uh, let me see if I can randomly just choose another one here. Um, okay, let's try this. Warriors drawing account. And it's Scarefire, named for the or yeah, Scarfire or Scarefire, named for the scars across his body and the fire he provides. 
Scarfire is a Darkfire Dragon. He's dangerous and will attack anything or anything in eyesight. He attacks with black flames that could melt the strongest metals. His raked claws can make unhealable gashes. The only way to defeat him is to sneak up on him and find the Sword of Misty Brightness. The sword ha has an energy core of his uh, both weaknesses, water and light. Find that and you can beat the boss. Okay, um, so to defeat Scarfire, you need the sword, but why go through all the trouble when you can make the sword? So the marker gel thing is an Aurora, like a mixture of the blur tool and the shiny glow tool. So that you have the blur tool, but not the mix with the under part and the and the blow part without the annoying line P. Okay. Well that's interesting. I don't I mean I think I think it lends itself to some interesting ideas, which is how can you build a sword from gel? Um so I'm gonna go ahead and approve this, but for the people listening, let me know how you think you can build a sword from from the gel because I think that's what we need to figure out is how you can mix gel and then it creates these halos or glows that are actually interesting. Now on to ask CCH. Let's go to the projects or no actually to the jobs that's what I meant to do and let's get started. Um, baby kitten baby kitty kitten brownie lover asks are you a girl or a boy how old are you? Um, I'm over 18 and am I a girl or a boy? I'll leave that to your imagination. Okay, spirit. Well, I think you can already guess uh, what I am, but uh, in case you you haven't known, <laughs> just check out the videos. Okay, spirit. My advice in uh, any advice in making a successful club. Yes, what you want to do is you want to start releasing projects kind of related to your club, and and just start seeing what people respond to in terms of projects because the more interesting projects you release, the more people will potentially find you or find out about you and then they might fan you and then you can just keep on updating with more interesting projects. So I think it's really start giving before you want to get anything in return. Okay, Izzy2005 asks, how can I get attention? Do projects, help other people, help other people out, do battles, do collabs inside Duel Club or Chroma Club. The Final Throne asks, will there ever be an animation project available? Yes, but that'll be in the virtual world. Kit Cat Girl asks, what do you like to do in your free time? Um, just prepare and work on actually getting the virtual world done. The Beautiful Black Rose asks, fix the gift problem. Yes, we've kind of blocked a lot of the gifts. If you see any more, let me know um, because we just definitely don't want them on DC right now because it seems to cause glitches in, on some people's devices. Gravity Flaps asks, why are you going to add the virtual world? Was it a request? I think it's because most people just want, I think the virtual world is way more cool than just doing the web pages. Um, and I think it's now done in a way and an idea that actually resonates with the goals of Doodle Club and Chroma Club. So that's why. Cool Boy Gamer asks, why is it red? Fabu uh, I don't know, I mean, that's just the doodle. Fabulous Misfit asks, who, what is your favorite band? If you don't have one or you just want to answer this question, uh, what's your favorite type of apple? Um, look, I have several favorite bands. I mean, it really varies and it depends on what I'm listening to and what I need to work on. So I'll leave that open. But in terms of favorite apple, I would say the those green, is it golden delicious apples? I think those are the best for now. Okay, so Hasuki Chan is a mini Doodle Club secretary asks, when will the virtual world come out? Look, I think it needs to be playable for at least 10 minutes. So I'm working on it. I'm trying to get things improved as we get the bosses and other ideas on. Either I'll be able to tighten it up. So hopefully soon. I'll try to do as much as I can. God's Girl asks, um, how do we stop bullying on DC? Let me know of any bullies on DC. I think, you know, there's a few people who bully and if we can just block them from DC, it'll be good. Finally, Donnie Fangirl asks, do you have any ideas for stopping the cyberbullying that is going on in DC? Yes. Let me know about the people who do the cyberbullying because usually when we remove the two or three or four that do the cyberbullying or start it, it makes everything else more peaceful. So I'm willing to ban them. Just let me know about them and let me know where they posted the bullying comments. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thanks again for all of the questions. I think the next one, next video will cover more Boss Week submissions and embrace the power of the doodle. Take care.